Well, hello there, fellas, and welcome back to a How to Android Soundboard. So, today uh, we want to prepare our app for all of the functions are, that are available in the pop up menu we created uh, in the last video. For example, uh, sharing the sound uh, via WhatsApp or um, setting the sound as ringtone. And to do that properly, we have to grant some permissions to our app. And let's go on and do that. So first of all, we have to go to our app manifest and uh, well, define the uh, permissions we need. We're doing that by typing uses permission and then just auto complete that. And now the name uh, is the permission we uh, want to grant to the app. So the first one we need is a right external storage. And we need that one for uh, saving the sound files to the device of the user and then sending them to whatever, like WhatsApp or the like. Because especially with WhatsApp, you can't, well, uh, just use the data from your app and send it directly to WhatsApp. You have to save the file on the device and then send the file from the device to WhatsApp. It's a little bit annoying, but <laughs> well, that's just how you have to do that. So the second permission we need is uh, called write settings. And we need that one for setting the sound as ringtone or the like. And there's also uh, a little extra we need for uh, setting, the uh, setting the sound as ringtone. That's called modify audio settings. So, well, if you run the app on a device that's uh, well, that's running on Android 5 or lower versions, that will be enough and you won't have any problems. But since Android 6, we have to ask the user for permissions at runtime. And we're doing this by writing some more code. So let's go on and get into our soundboard activity. And here we want to write an extra method that is private because we only need that in this class or activity. So, um, and it doesn't return anything. It's just doing something. So I'm just gonna call it request permissions. Uh, well, first of all, we want to, uh, well, check if the, uh, device of the user runs on Android 6 or higher version because if it doesn't we don't have to ask for permission and uh, well it would get an error if we just don't ask if it's on Android 6 or higher and uh, it then just ask, uh, tries to ask the user for permissions and in the older APIs that is, isn't contained in there so it will just give you an error and we don't want that. So just type if and then we get the version, the Android version from the form by typing build dot version dot SDK underscore int. And if that's greater or equal to build dot version codes and there you can get all version codes and uh, Android 6 is M so then we want to ask for permissions so we have to ask for two permissions here uh, the first one will be the right uh, to the external storage permission the second one will be the um, right settings permission but first let us deal with the right external storage permission. So we first want to check if the permission isn't already granted. So we're doing that by term context compat uh, check self permission. 
and this one needs a context given over this and it's ne it needs the permission and that's manifest dot permission dot write external storage and if that's not equal to package manager dot permission granted then we want to ask for the permission and we're simply just doing that by using the activity compat and the method request permissions. And this needs an activity, we'll also given over this, and it needs a string array with the permission you want. So we're creating a new string array that is just filled with manifest.permission dot write external storage and then it needs the last argument which is int request code so we're just using zero there and well that should be all for the write external storage permission and uh, now we also want to check if the write uh, settings permission is granted so also call an if and then top settings no not bass boost so well we don't need that sorry so settings dot um system so dot can write and this needs a context and this gives you back a um, boolean and if that's false, so just put an exclamation mark in front of that, then we can ask for the permission. And this one is a little bit special because we have to, um, well, grant the permission uh, over an so-called permission management screen. And we're getting to that by using the well, in this case, we're using a simple snack bar, but for the snack bar, we need a new library here. So just go into the build gradle and then compile com.android.support and uh, it's called design 25 to zero, uh, re, um, sync synchronize it and then we can just use it well snack bar uh, make and this one needs a view well we don't have an actual view we can that's that's good as a root view so we're just using uh, well the whole layout and well, first define a private view, uh, call it M layout, and we can do it in the on create. So M layout equals to find view by ID r dot ID, and I think we well yeah. We gave the layout an ID, so just use that one. And now we have our v root view that we can use. So, uh, well, given over M layout, then it needs a uh, text for the snack bar, and I'm just typing the app needs access to your settings and we need a duration and uh, well I just want to show that snack bar as long as the permission isn't granted so I'm just giving it over a snack bar dot length indefinite so it will be shown forever uh, at least if that's not true. So um, 
then set action and a text okay and well define a new view dot on click listener and implement the method and in there we want to uh, get a context for an intent that we will create right after that so context that's also called context and we're getting that from the view dot get context okay and then a new intent new intent and this one has a special argument it's called settings dot action manage right settings and we're setting some data so we're giving over our package name and we're doing that by parsing an URI parse uh, package plus context dot get package name and we want to add a flag intent dot flag activity new task then just start a new activity on that intent well we just then ha only have to show the snack bar and let's take a look on that one so well we can just ignore that because we're uh checking before calling that we're checking if it's uh, uh, if the device is running on API 23 plus or well if it doesn't that won't be called so we can just ignore that and run our app and test it so well nothing happened yeah well <laughs> we didn't call that method so uh, well, I want to call it after all of that was created. So request permissions and rerun that. So there it is. And it's also us for the right external storage permission. And let's, I want to show you what happens if you deny it. So if it's working fine, it should ask you again. Yeah, okay, that's good. And here is our snack bar. And if we are clicking on OK, we get to our permission management screen. And there we want to allow to modify the system settings. So that's it for this video. In the next videos, we want to, well, create those functions to actually do something. Well, leave a like or a comment down below. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.